All right, so this is Mrs. Chenoweth, and this is going to be a basic video on sculpting basic forms and also ways that you can combine basic forms to make more complicated forms. So you'll need the following um, material. You could use tape or glue. White glue is fine. Um, glue stick is also fine. Um, and obviously a pair of scissors. And you'll need some paper. Um, the other thing that I'm going to use here is my laptop. And I'm going to use this template that's on my laptop um, to also trace some more complicated basic forms. Um, this is from a website called Fun Stuff To Do. Um, and this is their um, support file pyramid shape. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So a lot of basic forms are geometric forms, such as the cylinder, the cone, um, cube, which we've already studied, the sphere. Um, which is really difficult to do on paper. You have to do some kind of alternate um, to making that, unless you want to just ball up a piece of paper in a, in a circular form. Um, and pyramid. And there's lots more. There's de lots, a lot more, like decahedrons and um, all kinds of things. So anyway, basic forms. And you can they can be closed forms or open forms. Um, doesn't matter to me. Oh, the other thing I would suggest you have as well is a ruler. I'm just realizing I don't have in front of me. Um, so I'm going to fold here just to get some nice straight lines. So your forms that you create do not have to be that big either. All right, so I'm going to be sculpting kind of quickly. Um, and I just want you to get a feel of how to make these basic forms. All right, so first one really is just a cylinder. Super simple. All right, just take it, roll it around like this. Um, and you can see I've got um, a cylinder shape. Close it on up. I'm just going to go ahead and put glue on one side. Alrighty. And I'm just going to roll it around and glue it. Um, I think that glue is way nicer than using tape. The tape just looks ugly. So now I've got a much nice, simple, basic form. Just like I've got. Okay, for this shape, we're going to create a cone shape, um, cone form. So we're going to start with the basic shape, and I'm going to use a cup uh, to make a circle. And this cup is about four inches in diameter, um, so it's a decent size. Um, and then what I want to do is, the best I, I can, I want to mark, if you have a compass, you can do this, of course. Um, but I want to mark a, the center mark, and then I'm going to draw a radius, all right? So once I have that drawn, then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out um, like this. And here's my radius. And I'm also going to cut the radius. And very simple technique is to just then take it and sort of wrap it in on itself. And that will wrap around and under like this. And then I've got a really simple cone shape. Um, just take a little bit of glue and just put some glue on the inside here and that will go around on the outside this direction and that's what's going to hold my cone together and it kind of looks like a little cap or maybe a little uh, sonar or radar or like a disc all right so it could be lots of things um i could monitor and what I'm going to do is just use this as a means to trace it I'm going to use it like a light box um, and trace that form all right so sorry I got a little dark there but I can see right through the paper and here's one of the templates and this is kind of cool because this one um, pyramid shape there's like three different templates on this website so there's actually three different ways that you can actually use to make this. And you can see it's basically made out of four triangles. Oops. Um, and then here is where they have the tabs that will help you get it glued together. And tabs are very important and nice to have um, because it does make your life easier. All right, and then this has the square sort of down here in the bottom and then I'll be able to um, fold that up and have this be a closed shape. 
as opposed to the open shapes um, gap that he was creating before. All right, so again, just cut it on out. Um, you don't have to be that precise with the tabs, really. Um, what you do want to do is be precise with your folds that you create. Um, if you have a printer, you can certainly print these out as well. Um, you could draw them on your own just by measuring. So again, multiple ways to solve a problem, just like there's three different templates for this one shape. I'm sorry, this one form. There's a lot of different ways that you can resolve it. Ooh, looks like a really cool uh, ninja star. All right, so what I'm also going to use here is... Um, I'm going to press down really hard here. I should have used my ruler. I can't find my ruler at the moment. Um, but anyway, I'm going to press down hard. This will allow my folds. I'm kind of like creasing the paper a little bit so that my folds will fold nice and neat um, and clean. So just like when you were making a cube um, and I asked you to score the edges where you're going to fold, same thing happens here. If you score the edges, um, your folds will be crisper, cleaner. And remember, I use the nail file um, to make my folds. All right, so I'm just going to fold it in. All these lines will be on the inside of the um, form. Oops, I missed it already. And then that way, um, we won't see all these hideous lines that I just drew. All righty. So I've not made this one before, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. All right, and then upwards, 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 and one more. And then I'm just going to use my glue stick again, glue on the tabs, and hold it. Is, is to figure out how can I put some of these forms, at least three of them, together in order to make some new kind of form. So what you will do is the following. You'll put them together. You'll say, hmm, I like the way this looks, or no, I don't like the way this looks. Um, the cylinder is kind of cool because it's like a column, and you can use it to kind of like stack things. Oh, and that's kind of cool. I could put something there. This doesn't look interesting from that direction, but you look at it this way and have everything kind of stacked up it could be kind of cool all right so that's your next phase then is to figure out how can I attach some of these things together I need more glue on my guy here right, you just gotta work and problem solve